Hello everyone and welcome to your Tuesday what the fuck are your daily dose of crazy people doing stupid things that they probably shouldn't do in the first place but have no intelligence and therefore must do them by the law of nature. Our first story comes to us out of New York where a woman is suing a 99 cent store for slipping out a banana peel. First of all, a 99 cent store, how much money do you think they're going to have? I, I can't imagine more than like a hundred dollars. It's a 99 cent store. Everything sells for a dollar. Their store would probably sell for a dollar. Unless they're liars and everything doesn't sell for a dollar. And they're teaching us that money has no value. And that everything is worthless. Everything isn't worthless. You have to try really hard to slip on a banana peel. You should be a nerd. You need to watch more Mythbusters. That shit. You can't slip on banana peels unless there's like to thousands of them. Even then, they're still not the slipperiest substance you could find. Although, frankly, I'd be slightly more disturbed if I slipped on the slippery substance they used, which I think was some kind of lube. Mmm, lube. Unless you have the worst balance ever, you really shouldn't have any problem with that whatsoever. To slip on a banana peel, you have to be like on a pogo stick made of ice and lube. It was a very disgusting image that just popped into my head. <laughs> Don't be dumb, dumb dumb. Oh, America and its frivolous lawsuits. Our second story comes to us out of New Orleans, where a priest... That just tips you off that it's gonna be a good story. This pastor is known for protesting against gay events uh, in celebration of gayitude, gaynicity, gayitality. Gay gayality. He's very anti-gay, as most priests are, I believe, because God says that a wedding is between a man and a, a holy union is between a man and a woman, and apparently everyone else can just go fuck off. But yeah, the hypocrisy uh, apparently loves this guy because he was caught doing what? Wrong. He was not raping a little boy. Why would you automatically think of that? Just because I said Christian church pastor and you thought of raping a little boy? You're a terrible person. He was masturbating into a cup. Come on. He said he was urinating? Yeah. Make that better. You still had your junk out. Your holy junk. Alright, you're either gonna have to choose peeing in public or jerking it in public. Either way, you have your junk out in a public place, doing stuff that people shouldn't do in a public place with their junk. You're screwed! So priests, no more masturbating, no more raping little boys, I know celibacy is a bitch, but if you're not up to the task of not having sex, I'm a priest. Also, don't be a pedophile. Regardless if you're a priest or not, don't go down that path, because that, 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 no. Just, that, that, bye, don't go. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you want to discuss any of the stuff that I talked about in today's episode, leave them down in my pants. They're nice and tight pants today. You probably didn't need to know that, but I felt like telling you anyway. If you want to read more about the stories that I talked about, then I will have the linky doos in the doodly description box. You can click those and go to the websites that... I found this stuff from. If you like me, if you like how I present the news in a hopefully humorous and laughable way that makes myself and the people I'm talking about look like very, very idiotic, unintelligent people, hit the subscribe button up here, up here, and then a magical pony will fly to you while you're sleeping and give you three dollars underneath your third pillow. And if you don't have three pillows, you just get a hoof to the face. So you're just going to have to take that and like it. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys tomorrow.